Hello YouTube, and today I have a new video for you on how to create a cannon that launches over 60 blocks. Now you can alter how far it goes, and it only takes one input, which is really cool. It's also cost efficient for those on faction servers and doesn't cost a lot of stuff. So let's get into what this takes. This will take stone, of course. Now you may need however many stone it takes. I'm not going to calculate it. But a good stack of stone should be enough to make the cannon. Uh, if you have to fill in any areas to make the cannon, you might as well just want to do that right now. Uh, or when you have it, because you need space for the cannon. You will need the input source. I tend to use a button because it is just one click and then it just is the correct way to activate it. Uh, you'll need a good amount of redstone. Redstone's pretty easy, so if you have 64 redstone, that's fine. But if you only have 32, I think that's enough, too. So, yeah. You will need 9 redstone repeaters. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you will need a water bucket. Now, you also need a stone slab, and everything else is optional except for the TNT, which you will be using to fire the cannon. But if you somehow, or some way, or reason, want to just make the cannon itself, then you won't need TNT. So first, what you want to do is you want to make like an outline. Uh, you don't have to count, but if you did, it'd be like an 11 block line. So from here, it'd be 11 blocks. That's 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, you don't you really need to count uh, but if I were you, what I would do first is I would make a the back, so I would place this and then make three, and then extend it out a bit, and then place the water one block in front of the back, so the water will have a back, and then place blocks until the water hits the edge, and you'll have probably like this. Now, on the edge, you want to put a stone slab, and you want to put two stones on the side of it. Now, um, you'll also, from how I'm facing, you want to put a stone, a, or the block you're using to create the structure of the cannon, on the right. So, you want to put the block there. And I will show you why in a second. I mean, as you can see here, it's probably obvious. Now, uh, let's just put this here so we can get up to the cannon. Now you want to put a button, and from that button, you want to put redstone. Now in fact, on this whole back, you want to put redstone, and then from the button, in front of the redstone you just placed, uh, from the button, you want to put a repeater and put it to four ticks. Now uh, this four tick repeater, you will not adjust this, or, I mean, then it's kind of the cannon might not really have its ability anymore. It's kind of just like a regular cannon, pretty much. But, yeah, then you want to put redstone all the way. You do not want to put redstone here, as it just wastes redstone. Now, from here, you... Now, from across the button, on the other side, you also want to put a repeater. So it would be directly across from the same repeater you put on the first side. And you want to put all... You want to put uh, eight more repeaters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, and you want to put all of these to four ticks. And I will show you how to adjust the firepower of the cannon in a second, because with this you can do that. And then uh, put uh, redstone here. So now you have your cannon. It's pretty simple to make. You put TNT. It costs nine TNT for one firing of full power, as you can see here. So this one TNT gets activated and then explodes that, which launches that TNT very far, and that did not explode in the air. As you can see, I've made some test models. Now, right now, I can tell you that the TNT hit this tree, as you can see. Now, let's say you don't want to fire so far. Let's just say you wanted to fire, maybe, I don't know, just to the lake. What you could do is instead of having all these four ticks, you adjust this to two ticks. Now what that'll do is that'll change at which point the TNT gets activated. As you can see here. Now I don't think a two tick at the first part will matter much. 
But as you can see there, it hit the floor this time instead of the tree down there. Uh, testing it again. So you don't have to really move um, anything. Now what you could do is put less TNT and it might save TNT. However, that is um, because then the booster TNT might not hit those TNTs, which is why you really want the 9 TNT uh, there at all times and just want to adjust this redstone. Again, one input adjusting one redstone, and let's put the time set to zero so we can see this. And as you can see, the TNT launches really far. Let's try it at one tick. One tick. Now this is pretty much instant, actually you probably want one at two ticks or else it's going to malfunction. And uh, putting less TNT, which is what you could try. As you can see there, that's much faster. And that launches right in the air, but that launches shorter distance, higher up, higher altitude. So you can adjust the cannon, edit this, like, pretty much the settings are these, one, uh, these, rows of redstones, and uh, let's toggle downfall there, and the cannon does shoot over 100 blocks, as uh, I've tested it with my friends, and also, uh, as you can see, this is like a prototype sand cannon, and this is pretty much almost uh, the same design, and uh, as you can see, the sand launched this far, now... The TNT, I'll tell you, if this tree right here is 60 blocks, because the cannon usually can fire over 60 blocks, then the TNT can well shoot to maybe this unloaded chunk, which is a very high power, far shooting cannon, and uh, you will probably be able to hit bases from a long range. And it's very efficient, pretty money conservative, I guess. Like, it does save a bit of money, but if TNT costs a lot, TNT is pretty much the main cost of this cannon, as it is with basically every cannon to reload it. But TNT is like, one, if you were to fire the cannon once and base everything on that, the TNT is pretty much the overall most cost so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe now i probably do another one of these every wednesday uh until i run out of ideas so i hope you enjoyed and see ya